Hello, Dave Brennan with Case IH. Today I want to spend just a few minutes talking about customizing your user-defined windows and your run screen layouts when running the ISOBUS software suite with a 2000 series planner and an AFS Connect Magnum or Steiger tractor. Let's walk through it on the display. So what we're going to do first is select one of our run screens and we're going to press and hold any one of those seven run screen buttons across the bottom. And when we do that, it's going to bring up a window that asks us, would you like to enter those the edit, the edit screen uh, or set up for the layout modes. And we're going to go ahead and select yes. That's going to take us into a screen that gives us the ability to change the layout on any one of those seven run screens, edit the names across the bottom, bring in user-defined windows from our virtual terminal screens that control our planner and bring those over into one of the other six run screens. So let's walk through that. So we're going to see at the bottom now that we've pressed and, and held those run screen bottoms for uh, three seconds, we're going to see uh, basically two sheets of paper stacked up in the lower right hand corner. We're going to select that button. Now there's going to be some uh, predefined layouts already populated in there and you're going to see one that says planting. That's going to give us a pretty generic layout for planters. You may want to customize that. We'll walk through that in a minute based on your operating preferences and the configuration of your planner. So I'll go ahead and hit select on that planting layout. I'll hit the X button in the lower right hand corner. That's going to take that out and load that predefined planting layout for me. As that loads up, we're now going to see those run screens at the bottom and the layout of each one of those change, with the first two being somewhat dedicated to tractor functionality. As we migrate over to run three, we're going to see that be dedicated then to uh, the map layout, so we can look at our as-applied maps. We can run that in a format where we've got split screens by touching that upper right-hand area, and look at two different metrics at the same time by running that map in a split screen mode. I can move my way farther on, I go to, to run screen four, you're going to see that now bring into some, some of the planner functionality with my section control switch boxes across the top, rate control for both liquid and seed, and some other functionality based upon how the planner is configured on the bottom. Run five, moving on then to a very colorful, bright layout of a seed boom uh, population control map. So we're going to see that that's going to, or bar graph, that's going to give us population, uh, singulation, uh, skips, all of those meter metrics that we look at. Uh, and then as we move across the bottom, we're going to see uh, another map with some more guidance functionality. And then run seven is going to be defaulted to be our planter ISO screen. It's going to be that virtual terminal screen with six within separate run screens. They're going to be controlled across the right hand side that I can page through uh, on the right hand side of the screen. So that was changing the predefined run screens on a Pro 1200 display when running an ISOBUS software suite with a 2000 series early riser planner. For further information, refer to your operator's manual or talk to your local Case IH dealer.